the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and God, Amen. Happy New Coptic Year. The Church is leading us from the beginning of the year to focus on the Kingdom, the Kingdom of Heaven. The years, year after year, are passing, but we have no hope in this world. Our hope in heaven, our hope in the new kingdom. So year after year, we're getting old, but we have hope. We are growing in God's love. We are having more credit in heaven. We are growing in his knowledge, in the knowledge of God. So our focus, the church wants to tell us that our focus should be on the kingdom. What is the kingdom? What is the kingdom? St. Macarius the Great said, the kingdom is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is here. He's, a, he's among us. When the Lord Jesus said to the Jews, the kingdom of God as is at your hand, because he was sitting among them, he was teaching them, he is passing, passing by all the villages and the towns, teaching, preaching, and healing the sick. This is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is the heart of all the events of the history. He is the heart of the Holy Scripture. When he started to read from Isaiah, he said, okay, all these prophets, or all these prophecies became true now. In him, everything has meaning. Without him, all this world is without meaning, and the life itself is without meaning. And we, when God grants us a new year we should praise him a new praise so the praise of the church today is as it is in the song of the vespers of yesterday oh sing to the Lord a new song sing to the Lord all the earth sing to the Lord bless his name proclaim his salvation from day to day and the psalm of the matins sing to the Lord a new song for the Lord has wrought wonderful works his right hand and his holy arm have wrought him salvation and when God grants us a new year this, this is a symbol that he will grant us a new life, a new kingdom, or a new life in his kingdom, or a new life in him. As St. Paul said, if <clears throat> if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Before, behold, all things have become new. So he is granting us a new life in him. On this day, on this new year, we have one goal, and we have one conduct, and we have one faith. We have one goal. Our goal is to live for Christ. As he said here in the epistle to the Corinthians, if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all that those, he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again. He died for us and rose 
to grant us a new life. And when we die with him through baptism and row and and rise with with him through the baptism, we have this new life. We have this new man. We have a new man. And we have to give the upper hand to this new man. To live according to God, not the fl- not according to the flesh. According to heaven, not according to the world. St. John is warning us in his epistle. He said here, do not love the world, nor the the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, so he is living with the old man. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. He is giving the upper hand to the lusts, to the all the desires for this world. The If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that in the that that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father. This is not according to the new man. It's not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away. And the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. So this is the, the gift from God. To to live according to his will and to, uh, to and to live to glorify him our conduct to achieve this goal is to give the upper hand to the new man and this new man was cre- which was created in us is led by the holy spirit and we have to let the holy spirit lead us guide us we have to listen to him we have to be quiet enough to listen to him we have to have a quiet time with the word of God to listen to the Holy Spirit to be led by the Holy Spirit not led by man or by anything in this world we have to give the upper hand and the leadership to the Holy Spirit to lead our new man and we have to repent and leave all the 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 old conduct the old conduct we have to start from now saint paul said this in his epistle now is the accepted time now is the accepted time to start not after one hour or tomorrow and also we have to to be co-workers with God. We have to be ambassadors with Christ to reconcile the world with God. So when the Holy Spirit will lead us, he will lead us to be servants of God. He will lead us to be ambassadors to to achieve the goal of God, which is the salvation of the world. And we have to empty ourselves from all the, the bad things and the lusts of this world to be filled with God's love. The last point is the faith. We need faith. We need to have faith to see and to enjoy the work of God in our life. The Lord Jesus Christ said in his sayings here in the first sermon he delivered uh, in the synagogue in his city, Nazareth. He said, many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elijah the prophet and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. Just one get this gift just to one man because he had faith and he obeyed and he went to the Jordan and baptized seven times and he got healed also he said I tell you truly many widows 
were in Israel in the days of Elijah. When the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land, but to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. Oh, no, no families at that time were worthy to receive this great prophet except just a widow because she had faith she obeyed when he asked her to make him a small bread to, to eat or a small cake to eat first although she had almost none to live with she obeyed and she her conduct wa was led by faith so she got this blessing to have Elijah many months in her house and he uh, healed or arose her, her child when he died so we need faith to walk by faith through this new year we have to walk by faith we have to focus on the kingdom we have to be led by the Holy Spirit and we have to walk by faith not by these eyes or the, the seen things we are following the Lord we are walking according to his words we are walking by faith putting ourselves between his hands because he is the best leader and he is the good shepherd who, who is nourishing us with his spirit and leading us to the, the heavenly kingdom and glory be to God forever. Amen.